I've tried to explain chess in a way that makes sense, yet it never works. Chess, like many poetic metaphors, is explained in poems and songs and lyrics. It's explained through simple words such as black, white, movement, sequence, defeat, sacrifice, victory, remorse. It's explained through videos such as this. A video where I explain chess in the worst way possible. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about the game chess. Why? I got a chess board, and I wanted experience with editing and photography, plus filming. So here we are. Chess, a game that has been around for a very, 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 very long time. Well, who knows? I mean, it's just a checkered board with little boys who move in stupid ways. How hard could it be? Well, considering how many times I've been beaten, it's actually pretty hard. Today I will be teaching you how to play chess, so that you can bully your friends into playing chess, because this is a very necessary thing to know. The first thing I'd like to explain to you is that chess is a hard game. Chess combines problem solving, planning ahead, and countering your opponent at the very same time. And doing all that is very hard. So, if you want to play chess, you've got to be paying attention. You must think about each move could impact you or your opponent. It's like a battle or a synchronized dance, needing exact inputs to come out on top. Now, the next thing you need to know is that chess is really easy to learn. Each piece does a movement. Each movement can impact the other person, and each chance you get to move makes your opponent more and more likely to flip the dining room table. Now, let's start with how each piece is set on the board. It's really simple. You have 16 pieces and two rows that belong to you at the start. The board is 8 by 8 and considering 8 of them are these little things you can line, up the, line them up on the second row right here. The first row is a little more complicated. The order should go Rook, Knight, Bishop, King, Queen, Bishop, Knight, Rook. But depending which color you play, this can be different. So here's where I enforce the first law of chess setup. The Queen goes on her favorite color, which so happens to be what color she is. So if she is black, she goes on the black square in the middle. If she's white, she goes on the white square. Got it? Good. The king merely stands next to her, and it just sits pretty as she does all the work for him. How lazy. Each piece has a different movement type, and each piece can only move once per turn. You cannot move two times, that is all I'm saying. It's a turn-based game. Let's start from worst pieces to best. First up is the pawns. The pawn is a little thing that's making a wall in front of your actually good pieces. During your first turn, you can move one forward, one or two spaces. It can only move two spaces if it is on that second row. Once it leaves that row, it can only move once. The only way a pawn can kill an opponent is if it comes at it from an angle. If it cannot, they're just having a staring contest. They cannot jump over any other piece. Then there's the king. The king is second worst because he can only move one box in any direction. He has a radius around him that he can move in. He cannot jump over pieces and is pretty much worthless besides the pawn. 
this is why he's so low down on the list. I don't like the king. Why is he so useless? Next is the rook. Those little tower things in the corners, like spires. They can move as many spaces as they want in a straight line. They are not able to jump over pieces, but can be a real hassle against. Take them out as soon as possible, or else your king will be running for the hills. fourth piece is the bishop, who can do what the rook does, but diagonally. If you do set this up properly, you should have a bishop on the black square and a white square. These can also be threatening if used properly, but then again, it's hard to form strategy for its time. They also, like every other piece mentioned, can't jump over any other piece. The fifth is the knight. The knight moves in an L formation whenever used. It is the only piece that can jump over another piece, and can become a real pain in the patootie when used properly. I have been able to take out queens with this piece, and it's somehow a little worse than her. Final piece is the queen. The Almighty. She is your best piece on the board. You should protect her and use her to your advantage. She can do what the rook and bishop do, move in any direction for as many spaces as she wants. She can move up and down and side to side and diagonally at any amount at any time. The only con is, she is not capable of jumping over pieces. She is very scary to go up against, and it would be very funny if you lost your queen to a pawn. Be careful. The objective of the game is, to, is very simple. Kill opponent king. Use each piece to corner him in a way that you would other pieces. This is called a check. And you get one last turn to try and defend the king. If you do so successfully, the game continues. If you cannot, then it's checkmate, and the game is over. To defeat the king, you can either put a piece in front of said threat, or move the king away from a threat. If you cannot possibly do either, the game is over. If your chessboard looks very plain, you have two pieces and your opponent has five, it is courtesy to forfeit and let them take the W. The last thing I forget to mention is that when a pawn reaches the opponent's side of the board, they can get a promotion. This can be any kind of piece of yours that got killed, and is now a new th threat to your opponent. Although, it is very uncommon for this to happen, as pawns are weaker than the king itself. Chess, although it is one of the oldest games, has become one of the most common in poems and literature. It is not just a game, it's an art. Moving each piece delicately, as if your life depends on it. Protecting a king at all costs, sacrificing piece after piece, just to defend someone who's so worthless. Chess has been represented in many forms, as a battle, a dance, some way to impress others. Once you learn how to play chess properly, other people will be impressed. So go out there, let's play some chess. And don't lose your queen, at any cost. <laughs>